Uh, I'll pause there. Okay, so, <clears throat> small and useful things on my desk. This is the X-Duo Link 2. I actually just recently sold the Link in one of the last yard sales before I moved out of my apartment. Um, and I love that thing because unlike the, 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 the Dragonfly Red or the Cobalt or uh, the other little dongle DAX or the Spectra, all the dongle DAX are back to dongle DAX. That one had a volume and a play pause. So it makes sense to me instead of using the phone's volume as a volume. Now this just uses the phone's volume, but it, at least it gives you the, the option. So you could leave your phone in your pocket off and you could adjust your volume. You can play pause. You could even next track without taking this out. I don't think you could last track. I've, I've tried to triple press this and it do, does not make the go. Hold the button, volume up, hold the button, volume down. Uh, I kind of wish you could reverse that too, because sometimes how you're reaching for it, because it's a dongle, oh, I should probably point out the fact that it disconnects. It actually comes with a wire, instead of like the Link or all the other ones, well, I guess the What's it called would come with it. It comes with, this is a 3.5, this is a, my bad, USB-C to USB-C cable. And then this is the actual Link 2. So USB-C on this side, three and a half millimeters, single-ended output on this side, nothing here. Rocker switch, LED, play pause, next track, double press. And then you have two switches. And this is where it gets sort of interesting. One switch is supposed to improve soundstage. Hand to heart, I could barely tell the difference when I turn it on. The other one, however, is a bass boost. And for portable use, which is obviously what this is for, I like a good bass boost. Let's plug this back in. It should take over, like, immediately. In fact, it has already. Uh, using my Neumann NDH-20s, because if you're going to assess what a switch is doing, like a bass boost or a, or a sound stage widener is what they call it, um, you want the most trustworthy headphones you have, and it's these. Oh. Now, I love the product page. Linsoul sent me this, and it's on Amazon and on Linsoul's site. It's like $9 more on Amazon. But if you read the little blurb, they tell you the power is 150 milliwatts output. Okay. And then they go into explaining how the Link 1, the one that this is replacing was only 32 milliwatts output. This is, and I'm quoting, equals the power of five links. That's fucking hilarious. It's like <clears throat> the link two, no, 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 it should be the link five. Because if you had the old link, you would need five of the old links to co equate to what this can do. And it certainly is a more powerful unit. There's no battery located inside. It is running completely off the phone. Double tap. Uh, if you have it like this, then down is volume down. My only issue, if you just have, if you know where down is, then down is down, and down is down, but if it's like this, then down is up, and up is down. It's just so you, you get your brain around it. Uh, I do believe, see, I have an, an unopened one here. I got sent two. I think it only came with a USB C cable. I don't think it comes with a lightning cable by, by default. But if you have a USB-C to Lightning, then you have an Apple product, I think. Does it all work like that? How does anything even work anymore? I don't know. And this is plenty of power for any headphone I plan to take portable. Because, I mean, I've, I've taken some stupid shit portable. I'm Zeos, and it's all like I have to go out. In fact, I know what headphones I took out with this. I took out the, um, the Mackies. Those were great with this. Those did not need a bass boost, though. In fact, these don't need a bass boost. The bass boost, if I have to... I'll raise the volume. No bass boost. It's a nice... It, it's a nice, solid Rocket League, by the way. Bass boost. Like, it brings up maybe into like the 100, 125 hertz range. So you get like a little bit more robustness throughout the bottom end of the sound. It isn't just like 40 is boosted. So, I mean, I'm gonna give it that for, if, you, if I took out something lightweight, although these are hardly, actually I just opened this brand new pair. This will be their Virgin playthrough. If I plug them into this. 
Is the base boost on? I'm going to shut the base boost off. You should all be honored to watch me uh, break in a set of KPH-30Is. I just need more sets, like, left around the house. I, I keep losing my one set in this big fucking house. Oh. God, I love KPH-30Is. Yeah, that little bit of base boost, KPH-30Is. Can't go wrong. Soundstage switch? I can't tell the difference. Um, I should point out, this is all metal. And the switches are metal. Everything's metal. Even these sliding switches, I believe, are aluminum. And they're completely flush. They're, they're, if they're not perfectly on the line, they're actually below the surface slightly. They're very heavily roughed in aluminum. And you just have to push your finger against it, and it will slide over. There's so many items, even by X-Duo, that could use this, this particular type of, of system. The own, um, the portable amp, the, the one that I really liked, that I said it was as good as the, uh, the FIO M15. That had those switches that were really easy to push. If they were this, I wouldn't have to complain. Because you'll never, you'll never, ever, ever accidentally throw that switch. You have to get there and then really want to turn it. So this is a perfect example of what a good safety switch should look like on a new unit. It's big enough that you can get a grip on it, and you could, you know, you could get your fingernail in it if you feel like getting your fingernail in it, or just use your fingertip. And it, it, it's very solid, and it's very, it's perfect. It's a perfect fucking switch. It says link and not link two. I've been gypped. Is that against gypsies? Is that? Gypsies aren't watching my channel. If you're a gypsy watching my channel, I apologize. But are you watching my channel? I don't know. How many gypsies still exist? Are they only in England? Because I watched that movie Snatch and it was fantastic. Uh, it does come with one more accessory other than this wire. And this is this clear jelly, like stick -em pad. So in case you wanted to like permanently affix this, it's, it's, oh, it's, I want to play with this so bad. Like you don't even know. Oh, it's so sticky. It's like one of those fingers used to, like the hand used to whip onto the wall. So you could mount this to the back. And by the way, it does have the X Duo X on it or in it. I don't know how they, they put that in the mold. And then I guess you could glue this to the back of your phone if you really felt like it, which would then make up, down, and down, up. I prefer it just this way. Because what I was doing is I went shopping at Lowe's, shut the screen off, plop this mother effer in your pocket. Then this, this sits out. That sits out of your pocket. Your headphones plug into it. You never have to touch your phone again. You could play, pause, lower the volume. That's up, that's down. You got a little red LED indicating that it's functioning. I don't, it doesn't have a battery, so that wouldn't indicate much. Next. Yeah, so for as far as dongle decks go, this is around a hundred bucks. Which is not like an insta gift. The original link I loved because it was $48. It still is $48. You can still buy the original. And for $48, it's a very, very small stick, USB C, next track, play pause, volume up and down. This is twice as much money, five times the power. Uh, there's no high low gain or anything. But I mean, let's take these back off. I don't have anything else like crazy hard to drive. I mean, these are 150 ohms, and usually I amp the shit out of them. So the fact that I could just hit that. Hey, what's the matter? Like, I could make these so fucking loud. I'm not even at the maximum. I'm afraid to go to the last notch of maximum power. But this is the most convenient little son of a bitch. I mean, if you really want to be that guy who carry around his laptop and wants better audio, there you go. Or you can get a Dragonfly Red or Cobalt. I haven't done the Dragonfly Cobalt. But I know, I'm pretty sure, I'm 80% sure the Dragonfly Cobalt does not have like next track, last track, play pause, volume controls on it. And it's like, well then fucking why? The whole point of, of these things is convenience. And the fact that I can raise and lower the volume, change track, play pause, without taking my phone out ever again, shut the phone screen off, never deal with it. Don't have to deal with it. Why'd that turn on? Hold on. Is it, is it, is it? Okay. 
Oh, I held it too long and now it's doing the thing. This on the web. Remarks by President Trump at the 2020 Council for National Policy Meeting. Oh, I held it too long and now it's doing the thing. Is what brought up Trump videos. Let's just, this is, let's just not. Let's just not with that. You can hold that, by the way, get the assistant. I very rarely use that. That's not one of my things. It does keep turning my screen on. I wonder why. It shouldn't be doing that. Let's assume that's just my shit. If you own one of these, does it turn your screen on? See? Find problems. If it was in my pocket, I'd never notice that. Uh, uh. Like, the only issue you're going to have... It is a little bit pricey. I mean, I'm using the bass boost. I don't need a bass boost on these headphones. I'm going to put on the sound stage widener just because it exists. And they claim it's not done with the Like, it's not an EQ tweak. It's an actual thing that it's doing. I don't hate whatever it's doing. If it's doing something and I can't detect it, like, fully, I still am going to leave it on. Pause here. Gotta love Interstate 76. I'd live in that world, but it's the 70s and I can't wear bell bottoms. So yeah, the only thing you gotta think about is this is the same cost as like a BTR5. BTR5 is, you can wire a BTR5 like this. They're probably right on par with power, but then again, you're gonna find the BTR5 is balanced. You're also gonna find the BTR5 has Bluetooth. So X2O is a little bit, they got a very specific marketplace they're going for. It's like having one of these. I would never ever tell you, oh, you don't need uh, this because the BTR5 exists. This is a monster. These are all the, the family of monsters. Let me get the dust off that one. So they're trying to make a little baby monster. I get where they're going with it. And I, I, I love the build quality and I love that it just, it just is it's simplicity at work. Plug-in works. What codec it's using? USB. USB is the codec now. <sighs> Short video. I, I, it has no flaws. I would still think if you're looking for like the cheapest version of something like this, get the Link one. It isn't the most powerful, but I didn't really like max much out. I wouldn't take these. HG600s would work on this if you wanted to go portable with HG600s. But then you also, if you're going to plug it in, why aren't you thinking about the IFI hip deck, which I still have on the shelf behind me? So I'm going to link this. I'll link this to. I'll link this, and then I'm going to link the IFI hip deck and the BTR5. Because those are some other portable, reasonably sized. The hip deck's pretty large compared to this. I'll link the Link 1 also. Because just because the Link 2 exists, if the Link 1 is half the price. Cat girl wallpaper in the description. She's a cat girl, right? She could be a fox girl. I don't know. Or a bat girl. I don't know. Um, she's down there. Links to all the things I talked about. Links to my babies here. Links to the KPH30Is. What else? Oh, God, sunglasses. Um, yeah. Thank you, Linsoul, for sending this. Thank you, X-Duo, for making it. I think X-Duo sent me one as well. I keep getting doubles of things. It's not my fault. Yard sale. Oh, um, you support this channel. Thank you, number one, from the bottom of my heart. Number two, yard sales. First to the 10th of every month. I pay for shipping... Uh, I was going to say locally, but I guess content the United States. Half Shipping International, something like one of these will probably be in the yard sale. Uh, I'm going to try to get the Cobalt. Before you ask, even though know, you've all asked already, I'm going to try to get the, the Dragonfly Cobalt just to listen to it because I haven't listened to it yet. And everyone's like, that's the greatest thing ever, which is just like the red and the black were all the greatest thing ever. Um, Patreon and Subscribestar support the channel. 
if there's yard sales. You get to see these reviews early. You get to ask me questions you want on platform. The $10 private behind the scenes Telegram chat exists where you could ask me questions directly and so on and so forth and all the yada yadas that I do at the end of these videos. Thank you all for staying till the very end where I might say something interesting and quirky, but not today. I'm too hungry. I'm I'm usually good. Like if I'm hungry, I do a real like passionate video. I'll usually do an angry one, but I like this product. Like if it was an angry review, holy shit, I would have destroyed it. But I'm gonna go cut up some chicken and I got some like white pesto sauce. It's gonna be so good. It's gonna be fucking gorgeous. Um, then I gotta clean up some bees and then I gotta put my pie AES2 over there. We're gonna play some music. It's gonna be fantastic. It's gonna be fabulous. Fucking fabulous. We good? Switch this over to the pie and see if that lights up. I can't tell if it lights up yet. I don't know. Anyway, things and stuff, and thank you very much. And tomorrow there'll be another video. Probably a larger... Maybe this one. I have to do this one. That's new. It's a new one. Hi-Fi Guides in the forum.